I bet I could have won that fight if I spent longer looking through all of the lines. Rackan, thanks very much for the nine months. Corbett, thanks for the two years. Hogbomo show to you both. Barkov. Alright. There Ironclad's pretty solid. Ironclad really likes four energy. Oh my god, chat. So I'm making the play that I think is the best to win the run, and I am playing the character that I want to play. That's... We can we can now return to using the chat for other things. I, this is a public service announcement. I know a lot of people are confused. Hopefully, this allays all of your all of your uh, fears and confusion. Yep, let's take one of these. These two potions both do twice as much as usual. Sam. The boss relic thing is like weird to me. Like, for every other decision in the game, I'll like, you know, I'll take an uppercut and people won't be like, whoa, I didn't realize Jorbs always takes uppercut now. But for boss relic, like at the whale bonus, if I like pick boss relic one time, like I'll get asked by multiple people during that run, whoa, why are you always taking boss relic now? And I just don't understand. It's just like sometimes it's correct to take boss relic at the whale. But the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what you want me to say. If you're, I I, I don't I don't know. Both of the potions are pretty good. Do I really want to use one for three health? Probably not. It's not even some- I'm not even doing something different. Like, my entire life of playing Slay the Spire, I have boss relic swapped when I think it's right. <laughs> the boss relic pool has been buffed, so it happens more often now. <laughs> but... I don't... I don't know. I just don't understand. There's never been any point in my life where I've said, like, I think that boss relic swapping is bad on all characters and you should never do it. I've always boss relic swapped when uh, it seems good to you in every run I've ever played. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know. This is a really good floor. Thing to remove pain is fortunate. Ironclad likes being on four energy a lot. Because Ironclad has a bunch of very good two cost attacks, and since 2.0, it is much easier to hit two energy with the boss relic swap. So you take boss relic swap more often on Ironclad now. Sometimes BWEM. this kill? There's gonna be 23 toys? 25 toys? 25 toys. 50 plus 21 plus 24. 95. Almost. Guess I could double potion. That seems a little bit extreme. on this turn. Currently I'm dealing 37. I think it at 33. I'll be able to attack potion next turn if I drop poorly at worst. I think I sort of am always using one of the potions though, so maybe Maybe I could have just used this last turn. I don't know. It probably doesn't make any difference. <sighs> Anger is a pretty good common attack. I already have a couple of those, though. It would be nice to be offered other cards. You know what I'm saying? I'll take an upgrade and Anger, though. And then we'll uh, be pretty set for attacks. Tag is nice early, especially if I'm offered a skill. Kill this next turn. It goes to 31, 23. Not quite. So I want to kill this one before it attacks me again, then. Well, maybe I could have with a Thunderclap draw. I think, in general, with a better attack draw, I could have, but there were not many ways for that to happen. Things are enough. Self-forming clay is excellent. Those are both skills. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm like needing to take a limit curse at the moment. We can just take a burning pact. Bad turn one for Gremlin Knob considering our deck. It 
is possible to take 21 to keep an exploding potion against slime boss. I think it's difficult. in a world where I don't take Shrug it off right now. Can't imagine. Gotta deal 23 to this. That's 17, 23, and 6 to the other one. Or 8 to the other one. 8 to the other one. <laughs> the other one's a little bit better. Um, True Grit's pretty solid. It's not a bad seeing red plus. It's quite a good seeing red plus. I guess I don't have any card draw? A burning pact. <sighs> My potions just aren't very good for the slime boss fight, so I'm gonna have to rest. A bit awkward. I think I like the Seeing Rod. I think the fact that my cards upgrade with Warped Tongues makes it a bit better. I don't have any block though. This is really close, I don't know. I do think I have to rest. Slime boss can kill you from 37 with this deck somewhat easily. Thirty-one plus thirteen plus twelve. That actually exactly splits awkwardly. So I could play this one instead of this one, deal four less damage, put it at 79. And then I have a good split next turn, that seems pretty good. Yeah, we drew pretty well here. matters going into next act. And we still just sort of win when we draw Immolate. I'm not weakened? The damage here though. slime weakens you and the left slime frails you. That's how it works for Nash. Whoa. 
Whoa. Offerings made better by immolate and self-forming clay. I don't have anything that really makes Impervious incredible, other than the fact that it says gain 40 block on it. I think I just take Offering, though. Offering plus. Runic Pyramid. Really want seeing red all of a sudden? Fuck. Maybe I don't take Runic Pyramid. It's not at its best right now. But the other options are Ectoplasm, which is sort of gross, and Sozu, which is pretty awful with Sacred Bark. So is Runic Pyramid or Ectoplasm? Um, I have the Offering. I just don't have enough energy. I have an Anger. I have Thunderclap Immolate. That sort of solves a lot of the problems. Okay, I think probably Thunderclap Immolate's enough. I don't think this Runic Pyramid is like as strong as Runic Pyramid can be, but I'm still super happy to have a Runic Pyramid. Runic Pyramid's pretty rad. Especially with a Toxic Egg, Runic Pyramid. I think leans pretty nicely into strategies revolving around upgraded skills. I think I want to start off this way, and then I, if I can survive it, would like to come over here. It'd be cool to get a Reaper. I got a Reaper one time. But also just go this way. Or, for that matter, this way. There's no store at the end of the act, but there are a lot of question marks. 260 gold. So I'm giving up... campfire for a store, basically, by taking this path over this path. Yeah, the other floors are the same. I give up a campfire for a store. Does this also have one more hallway fight? Two, three... No, they're the same number of hallway fights. I'd rather have a campfire or a store right now. No burning blood. Hmm. No burning blood and an offering plus. <laughs> yeah. Stores give me potions though. I don't know, it's close. We could go this way. That way I have to give up an event for a hallway fight, which I don't love, but it does give flexibility. If we're doing well here, we could go to the store instead of the campfire. Not having the starter relic makes hallway fights worse because you don't get six health in them, right? But it makes them better here because the potions that drop from them are twice as good. I think people analyze stuff in like... I think people often get too complicated when they analyze things. Offering is the same card whether I have Burning Blood or not. The thing that makes Hallway Fights worse is that I don't have Burning Blood. It's got very little to do with Offering. But Hallway Fights heal me for 6 less, so I want to go to Hallway Fights less, whether I have Offering or not. I could also go this way. Get the super elite. Ah, uh, I would die. <laughs> I think I'd die. I think I have to go to the campfire, probably. 
going to a lot of question marks this act. Um, I think I play the unupgraded strike so that I can upgrade defend more often. I'm about to become weakened. Let's play our good damage cards this turn. But also play enough cards to draw five. Well, that fight went all right. Did I take the true grip? Shit. This is really good here. I have a burning pact and a true grip for it. All right, my deck's good now. I have a really good potion, if I want to use a potion in this fight. Bust is pretty solid with self-forming clay. for that right now, right? Immolate Bash. If I remember right, when you lose your next chest from this, you still get the extra relic from here. I'm going to a lot of question marks this act. I think this is good. Ah, it's incredible. Very good. And it's probably the best possible hit. You just saw it. It goes caca. Draw 10 cards. <laughs> Draw 10 cards. I like Rage Plus a lot. Um, it got better when I picked up Necronomicon so that some of my attacks played twice. 
just in general, having a low energy cost card is good and we need more block cards and we still have all of our strikes. I don't have any strength for Heavy Blade yet. Havoc's okay, but I think Rage is a bit too good for me to be taking Havoc there. Two cost strikes twice. Very true. It's a crucial thing to recognize. Calcum doesn't work quite as well with self-forming clay, but it's still pretty solid. I think I like the flame barrier over the ghostly armor. It's a good block card. Deals a lot of damage sometimes as well. Upgrading? I guess I take apparitions, so I want to upgrade. Sets up another chest at the start of next act. I guess that's okay. Because I got two relics out of it. I am presumably taking Mummified Hand, even with only one power. Two cards from my discard pile. twice, yeah. It's a bit unlucky. I guess I could use Snack Oil here and it would usually be okay. I can't make enough space in my hand anyway. I 
Caleb D. MTG. Uh, thanks very much for the raid, Caleb. Welcome in, everyone. I'm making some terrible life decisions right now. Um, I'm streaming like all night, I'm pretty sure. And I'll play some Slay the Spire, and then I'm thinking maybe I'll play some chess later. Anyway, if you want to hang out, we're vibing tonight. We're just chilling out. Caleb's an awesome streamer. He plays Magic the Gathering. He's playing some... Dominaria drafts today, right? Dominaria is a really sweet format. Not 5D chess, regular chess. Dumb is love, dumb is life. I think I'm still. I think I'm still an Innistrad drafter at heart. The Dominario is pretty good. And he thinks the 10 months. On promo show to you too. Have I ever intentionally skipped instead of plus two HP? Um, yeah, you can do that if you have like a red skull right now. We're almost in a situation where, um, so if you're below half health for red skull, but taking plus two max HP would put you above half health because it heals your current HP as well as giving you max HP. So I'd go to 37 out of 77, which in this case would still be below half. But if I had a max HP of 71 right now, and I had a red skull, and I was about to go into an elite fight, I'm not about to go into an elite fight, I could see myself skipping instead of taking plus two max HP, so I had three strength on turn one. I also, I played so much of OLS, OLS Limited, and it was just a terrible format. Like, it was not a good limited format, but I played it so fucking much, I don't know. I liked the card art. I liked playing like blue white. I don't know. <laughs> it's a, an awkward confession. With combust, rupture is okay. Like almost a demon form. Like a rupture. Upgrade all strikes and defense. At some point our warped tongues just aren't gonna do anything anymore. That's okay. I'm still gonna definitely upgrade all strikes and defense over removing one card there. This is pretty good too. Ritual dagger works nicely with runic pyramid. We don't have a feed, so it's not gonna interfere with us wanting to get kills with a different card. I have so many upgrades already, like resting seems completely fine. Because Warped Tongues is going to upgrade a random card every turn. If we only have five unupgraded cards, it's like <laughs> we're starting to not get that much value out of an upgrade at that point. <laughs> Never watched this game before. You're excited. It's a really sweet game. You get to do shit like this. If that didn't look like highly engaging and complicated gameplay to you, I don't know what would. Um, that, <laughs> that was one of the hardest fights in the game, I think most people would agree. Anyway, uh, Spot Weakness Plus looks excellent. Oh, I didn't get a kill with Ritual Dagger. That's true. I was carried away by the, the showmanship. This chooses one of three random colorless cards and adds two copies to our hand. All right. Yeah, there really still isn't much reason to upgrade. We're against the Hyper Beam Man. The Hyper Beam Man can attack you for a lot. I don't really think I needed to rust either, I guess. I don't know. Get rid of a defend. I don't really need one of those. Um, just play Offering now. Try to get the scaling stuff in play early. I have failed. I have Akabeko right now. He's Alan. Hope you're doing well. 
So what do I want this to hit? I want us to hit Flame Barrier. But I'd be like happy for it to hit, to hit Spot Weakness too, I think. Yeah, so we play Spot Weakness after it. Um, Immolate's hitting for 34 twice. But it's getting stolen. This is stealing it. Seemed like a sweet turn. Oh, it's not even... Okay. I thought this was Hyper Beam, but... Like, nope. Alright. <laughs> cool. Let's play... Yeah, let's play Bash twice. a card costs zero until the next time you play it that turn or it leaves your hand. That's what it technically does exactly. It doesn't say that that's what it does. Not very well communicated how it works. It says whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero that turn, which is not true. <laughs> it's not true at all. <laughs> um, the card costs zero that turn until you play it, though. But after you play it, it goes back to costing whatever. Also, if you discard it to something else, even though you didn't play it yet, it will go back to costing zero. We're not sort of fun with rage, but I think we're doing strength stuff for our damage. Brutality is pretty okay with self-forming clay and mummified hand. I don't hate brutality here. I have 75 max HP. Something to keep an eye on with cards like brutality is if we only have 75 HP, <laughs> which we do, um, a card like that can lead to us just getting killed on turn two or three in some fights where it's just too slow. Oh my gosh, you, you made all of the dancing graphics at the same time. That's pretty rad. Definitely never taking Berserk here. Brutality and Combust will give me two strength per turn. Yep. They're different damage dealing things. They even go off at different times. One's at the start of the turn and one's at the end of the turn. Not a huge fan of any of these. So, Busted Crown greatly diminishes our ability to keep improving our deck, which is a problem. Empty Cage, I can remove two strikes, that's fine. I don't hate this, it just doesn't do very much. But yeah, we could remove two strikes, that wouldn't be so bad. And Choker, I think we hit six cards a turn too often for this to be good with mummified hand and offering plus way too often i think yeah i think way too often i need to run to the bathroom and then i have to decide if i'm clicking on busted crown or empty cage i guess i'll be right back tubas on in you a laptop that gets hot if you spam the chat, so if people could please refrain from spamming right now. 
That'd be pretty good. I know it's like fun to spam. Like we've got Jorbs Pliss. Like a, just a very eminently spammable emote right now. We got Jacques plus one and Jacques plus two. I mean, it's hard. It's hard not to spam these, right? Pretty good spam. Hmm. Alright. We're probably good with three energy with a mummified hand. And we already have that sentinel interaction. And an offering. I'm just gonna take the empty cage here over the Busted Crown and the Velvet Choker. The drawbacks on the energy relics are just a bit too high. Unfortunately. We can still like get a corruption and stuff too. We can get more sentinels, we can get seeing reds. It's not that hard to get more energy. What am I bringing back? Ayayangus. Um. I don't know. Oh shit, it only works the first time it hits with uh, Akabaka. Whatever, that's fine. Blood Potion. Blood Potion heals 40% of our max HP in this run. That's quite a lot of HP. You have to pick between Carnage and Shrug It Off Plus. Carnage, of course, plays twice. It wouldn't be close, except for the fact that Carnage plays twice. Um... They're both pretty good. I think my damage is more about, like, drawing lots of angers with 10 strength later on in fights. And the Immolate's doing a tremendous amount for all the fights where I, like, need to kill things with 60 health. So I think I don't need Carnage. We can just take a shrug. That's a bit of a turn one. This costs me two health, but it deals 12 AoE damage. I mean, that's literally what the card says, so. <laughs> also gets it out of my hand. I think I like that it's removed from my hand this way. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough to kill there. He's alcoholic. Fight's gonna be over pretty soon. I think I will save my brutality HP. Just wanna get the dagger going.
Uh, maybe I can. Cost me one health to end turn here. Okay, it's probably worth one health. Whoa. Um. Dropkick and Body Slam are both quite good. Actually, Flex is quite good too. Dropkick with Rage and like shrug it off, even without going infinite. That's just a pretty good turn. Deal a bunch of damage and block for 48. And then if we get a dual wield or something, all of a sudden we can go infinite. Hey, Midnight Heart. for the drop kick. Not sure we really need to put together an infinite to win with this deck, but it does feel like it could be strong. I don't mind going to two stores with 487 gold. It's sort of hard to guarantee that you're going to successfully spend that much gold in a store. So there's a dual wield plus, which is just immediately offering us an infinite with dual wield, uh, dual wield drop kick. If I can remove enough cards. How many cards do I actually have? I've got these 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it's a slow infinite. There's a sundial there too. Sundial removes the necessus. Uh, uh. Sundial makes it so I don't need dual wield. With sundial I can just go infinite with shrug it off and drop kick. Although, like, dual wield on Ritual Dagger is a reasonable way to kill very, very, very strong enemies. If this is going to be up at 75 or something. I think I slightly prefer the Sundial. Don't need a Madness. Wouldn't absolutely hate a headbutt. Probably don't need that either. Am I going to win without the bomb? Who said I was going to win? remember anyone claiming that was going to happen. <laughs> Alright, um, I can go this way or this way. Just two question marks or two hallway fights. Mind Bloom is good, but the other question marks aren't that great, and hallway fights do stack Ritual Dagger, which has relevance. I've got the Blood Potion, so my health is not a huge problem. I think I'll take the hallway fights. You can get Ritual Dagger up to a point where it's dealing with the Act 4 elites pretty well. That'd be awesome. Tiny Chest is giving me a relic at the next question mark, huh? That's awkward. <laughs> That might never actually happen. We'll see. Okay. 
I have to play combust. Sorry, my like brain's breaking here. So I have rupture in play. I deal six. I gain a strength. So I have six strength. It's at 82. Two of these are 40 plus 46. Yeah, so I don't have to play combust. Save one HP. Sentinel's been pretty solid. Another True Grit's very good, though. right now. Probably just win. Probably just like win with corruption. Seems fine. Uh police. Angry transient. I need a fiend fire. Something like that. Not those ones. And just another spot weakness, and we have to win with strength a bit more. Runs in sort of a weird place right now. I 
attack is okay, but it is definitely not doing anything broken. Cheesecake's pretty rad. I've actually had two different girlfriends make me cheesecake for my birthday, like independently of one another. And it was incredible both times. So I don't know, it has like a special place in my heart because of that. On <laughs> the same birthday? No, not on the same birthday. Did you fail, Clint? a sundial proc. Whoops. Probably didn't want to use that here. Okay. Anchor is solid. Disarm plus is very good. I don't think I've skipped a card since picking up Singing Ball, which I picked up there. <laughs> Doesn't feel like I've ever taken plus two max HP. Could rest. Might need to rest. Even with the blood potion. A lot of stuff to get through before the end of the run. That's like the cops or I honestly can't tell if there's a siren outside my window or like a pack of coyotes. A little bit weird. Uh Sounds like a storm siren or something. Might be a pack of coyotes with sirens. It's a good point. I wish I took the dual-wield plus. It'd be nice to have. 
Sundial has been crap, and I'm not sure it's ever going to stop being crap. Like a warning siren, pot spam. Asking the important questions though, there, I appreciate that. health did it have? I thought it had like 144 and I dealt 66 twice. I have 132. It had 132? <sighs> right. <laughs> That's rad. Let's take this one. I just read the number wrong. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So I get to take Tungsten Rod here. Which is, I don't know, weirdly, it's not actually necessarily a good thing to take with this deck. I have a self-forming clay, right? So whenever I lose HP, I gain three block. Tungsten Rod, whenever I lose HP, lose one less. This stops my self-forming clay from going off and stops my rupture from going off. Pretty sure I take the key over it. And we can pick up Maw Bank. Now that I've picked up Maw Bank, I think I don't go to this store. And I guess I'll go this way so that I arrive at the end of the act with enough health. Gah -gah. I do still wish I had a Reaper. I kill these with combust or something. Ritual dagger kills one of them. It's very tempting to just take ten and end the fight. Might even be correct. Yeah, I think I'd take more than 10 if I play this fight. Berserk. I think just double sword boomerang. We are strength deck now. It's not heavy blade. upgrades, yeah. I have Runic Pyramid. Let's take Berserk. The rare Berserk pickup. I think it's pretty good here.
Okay, I actually hit Necron on my curse. Unusual. that bad. It's also not that good. Just take uppercut and then I could apply weak to things. That seems perhaps better. Barricade's definitely very powerful though. I can't go this way because I die. I run out of health. Witch power. Brutality is okay. It's between brutality and berserk, I think. It does give me max HP if I skip, also sometimes I don't skip. Yeah, I'll probably take Dark Shackles. Okay, Apotheosis seems very bad. We can, we can maybe skip the Apotheosis. Happy about that at least. I want a Deep Breath. If I take two Deep Breaths with Sundial? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, well, I'm skipping this one. Do I want two of them or one? The Dark Shackles is pretty okay. Oh, I sort of want two of them. Freaking Calamity thinks the 11 month. When we show to you two. I 
I'm a teensy bit concerned that the heart just kills me when it attacks for 60 on like turn 5. And Dark Shackles would perhaps stop that from happening. Dark Shackles is pretty. I'm just. You know, I think I need. It's like a time walk. It's incredibly good. Okay. Do I play this? In this fight? I don't know. Watcher, Samurai. Definitely can't all be Watcher. survive this turn, I can absolutely kill next turn. But I take another 2 damage. Oh, I'm getting weakened again. That's awkward. Maybe I want to change that attack then. Not to that though. Not really to that either. Monster only gives one curse. Heart of Iron. This gives 12 metallicize. It's pretty good. I like the Burning Pact. We got a recall. I have 28 health. Only. I have only 28 health. My starting hand deals me 2 damage per turn, and I have 28 health. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, this is maybe not a brutality fight. Did that not shuffle for me? It didn't shuffle, huh? Because I didn't have a discard pile. Um. It's actually preferable. I just didn't expect it to work. Gotta draw cards. Oh, 
probably need to use this fellow. Attack for 36. That's 12, 28. It's a full block. Next turn, though. Next turn, we might just die. I'm gonna make sure I get cards out of my hand. Hold on to anger, though, for rage. Bad hand right now. How do I block that? Gotta hit Dark Shackles. This arm sort of passable too. And Rage is a really big hit. Pyramid sort of killed me. I'm pretty sure Shrug is the right play. I can Burning Pact and draw more cards. But I don't block for 11. And I turn off Sentinel as a hit. Can't play Immolate this turn unless I hit. It's not very good. Let's play Anger. And drink this. Deep breath, that actually would have been a really good draw too. Having 17 health left thing, I'm not a huge fan of. We start with Rage. This seems pretty obvious. Two of these seem pretty good. Oh my god, the Berserk wasn't upgraded. Berserk, why would you do this to me? 
Those are clays. I'm already at 30 block. I play spot weakness at the start of the turn if I successfully save myself one health there. So I used both potions and half of my health. Yomudaka. Yomudaka seems slightly more plausible than Time Eater. Still not great, huh? Don't think I can play Berserk here. I'm gonna have to play either Brutality or Combust, I think. I don't think I get to just not play them. Probably both. Probably actually both. If I don't play Combust, I could play Offering in the fight. Seems like a sort of big deal. Let's not play Combust. This is not the turn I was hoping for. Did Sundial Plus get um, fixed at some point? I'm pretty sure it used to count for multiple shuffles, and it's definitely not. <laughs> and this made it a much worse card. It doesn't matter either way, we were dead this turn. Regardless. I mean, not dead, but you know, dead. Sort of bad. It's a strange run when your rares are Immolate, Brutality, Berserk, and Offering. I guess I was offered a barricade and couldn't use it. I was offered a busted crown. I didn't take that. 